I'm Mike Peel, and here's what made news this week. Stanford has its two candidates for mayor, for now. Former Lieutenant Governor Michael Fideli was endorsed by the city's Republicans Tuesday night, and the city's Democrats nominated David Martin a day later. Martin also ran for mayor in 2009. I will continue to work with all the citizens of this city, irrespective of their affiliation, to move us in to the next chapter of where Stanford is going. It will be a sharp contrast with how Stanford is being led now or how it will be led if this city makes the mistake of electing another Republican mayor. Republican Jerry Pia and Democrat William Tong have both said they will force a primary September 10th. The picture a bit muddier in Norwalk. After hours of deadlock voting Tuesday, not one of the four Norwalk Democrats running for mayor could nail down a majority vote from their peers. So instead, Harry Rilling, Vinnie Mangiacapra, Matt McClave, and Andy Garfunkel will all petition for a primary in September. We're not going to let party insiders pick the Democratic nominee. We're going to allow the people to pick the Democratic nominee. We should leave it to the, to the voters out, out in the general public or the Democratic voters uh, to choose the candidate when it became such a crowded field. Registered Democrats. It's time for them to decide. We like our chances in a September primary, and we definitely like our chances to replace Mayor Moshe in the mayor's office come November. Norwalk Republicans will hold their convention July 22nd. They are expected to nominate the current mayor, Richard Moshe. And finally, you may have noticed it's really hot outside. And besides dehydration and heat exhaustion, he can also bring more mosquitoes. The first mosquitoes with West Nile virus in Connecticut were found just last week. So we sat with Michael Long from the Greenwich Department of Health to learn how people can protect themselves. It's long sleeve shirts and pants, which again are difficult to wear in this weather, avoiding hours of dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active, uh, wearing bug repellent, and there's many different types of bug repellent out there. Uh, the, those that contain DEET are supposed to be the most effective. I'm Mike Peel, and that's what made news this week on itsrelevant.com.